Hi guys, I'm Kenny. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my full wash day routine. What I do from pre poo right to moisturizing and styling my hair. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. You can also press that bell beside the subscribe button so you are notified of my new uploads. I have an average of two to four wash days in a month. I either wash my hair every two weeks or I wash my hair every week. If I do styles that last me two weeks, then I'll wash my hair every two weeks. But if I do styles that only last me one week, then I'll wash my hair every week. Once in a month, I shampoo my hair with a clarifying shampoo. And my favorite are the Shea Moisture JBCO shampoo and my DIY African Black Soap shampoo. And before using any clarifying shampoo, either of these two, I prepare my hair with either coconut oil or olive oil or a mixture of both. Then I go right ahead to shampoo my hair. In between my clarifying shampoo days, I shampoo my hair with a moisturizing shampoo, which is the Tresemme Botanic shampoo right here. I don't prepare my hair. I don't prepare my hair before using this shampoo. I just shampoo my hair with it because it doesn't strip here like this two does. It's a moisturizing shampoo. In between my moisturizing and clarifying shampoo day, if I need to wash my hair, that means I'll have to wash my hair every week. In between that two weeks, then I'll co-wash my hair with the Tresemme Botanic conditioner right here so that is it for what i use to cleanse my hair once i'm done cleansing my hair with either once i'm done cleansing my hair with either the clarifying shampoos or the moisturizing shampoo or my co-wash i go right ahead to deep condition my hair if i co-wash my hair i may or i may not deep condition my hair it depends on how my hair feel but once i use any shampoo on my hair i make sure to deep condition my hair and my favorite has been my diy avocado and banana hair mask which i will link in the description box below and you also see me use it in this video once i rinse the hair mask out of my hair i go right ahead to detangle my hair with this conditioner right here because the hair mask i use on my hair does not have slip to detangle my hair with so i have to go in with this conditioner to detangle my hair and also to get rid of the banana scent from the hair mask once i'm out of the shower after cleansing my hair deep conditioning my hair detangling my hair and i'm out of the shower i go right ahead to style my hair i either put my hair in braid twist or flat twist for a braid out twist out or flat twist out i hardly do wash and goes for so i moisturize my hair with um my leave-in concussion right here which is the Shea Moisture JBCO leave-in conditioner and the Shea Moisture JBCO styling lotion then I added water to it to make it more watery then I spray it on my hair and I seal the moisture in with olive oil then I use Eco Styler Gel as my styler then I go right ahead to put my hair in twist braid or flat twist and once my hair is dry maybe a day or two days after putting my hair in the twist or braid and my hair is dry I take down my hair and I style it most of the time this way so that is a summary of all i do on my wash day then i'll take you guys through the step and step of what i do so you see it in this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel please 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 make sure you are subscribed to my channel now let's get into the video i'm gonna start by putting my hair in four sections so it is easy to work with then i'll prepare my hair with olive oil i've already heated it up by placing it in a bowl of hot water so it is warm and then i'll apply it to my scalp and massage my scalp very well i spend more time massaging my scalp when i prepare my hair so i just have to cut this video so it is not unnecessarily long then i use that oil in my hair to separate my hair not necessarily detangling it but separately so i spend less time in the shower detangling it and also so it is easy for me to work to wash in the shower another thing people does is that it it reduces the ash effect of clarifying shampoo because i only prepare my hair when i use a clarifying shampoo then i apply more oil to my scalp and cover my head with a plastic bag i've run out of my plastic cap so i'm back to using plastic bags and trap the heat in my hair with cling film after 30 minutes the oil i've already done whatever it is it's doing my hair then i'll wet my hair with warm water and wash my hair with my diy african black soap shampoo which i only apply to my scalp i don't apply shampoo all over my head i only apply it to my scalp and i wash my scalp very well washing my scalp and massaging it in a circular motion that is what i spend most more time doing when i'm washing my hair with a shampoo then i'll rinse out the shampoo rinsing out the sh i'm rinsing the shampoo out with warm with warm water so i'm checking my scalp to see if there is any dirt or anything like that because that is where i usually have build up build up of product the front of my hair so since i can see there is no 
test now I'll go right ahead to put my hair in sections again and apply my diy avocado and banana hair mask which i've already heated up as well by placing it in a bowl of hot water then i'll apply that to all over my hair and also the ends of my hair then i'll cover my hair with same plastic bag and cling film to trap the heat in there after 30 minutes my hair has already absorbed what it will absorb from the air mask then i'll rinse out the air mask i'll then put my hair in four sections again to detangle it with a conditioner so you can see take care problem that uh, <laughs> that even just cut then I will use, then I apply conditioner to all over the length of my hair and finger detangle my hair very carefully. This is when I spend most of my time in the shower detangling my hair. This takes more time than any other thing. Then I go right ahead to comb my hair out after using fingers to detangle my hair. This takes more time. I just cut it short. So this video is not un unnecessarily long since I already have a video on how I detangle and co-wash my hair. You can check that out so you know how I detangle my hair. Then I'll rinse out the conditioner with cold water again. I'll run my fingers through my hair to see if there is any knot and tangles. And as you can see, my fingers glide through my hair very easily. And I'll take a cotton t-shirt and use it to dry my hair. And once I'm out of the shower, I'll put my hair in four sections again to style it. Again to style it. I'll moisturize my hair with my leave-in concussion, which is the Shea Moisture JBCO leave-in conditioner and styling lotion. I place it in that spray bottle and apply water to it to make it more watery. That is how I've been moisturizing my hair. And to seal in the moisture, I'll apply olive oil. And I'll apply more olive oil to my ends as well. And... To start my hair, I'll be using Eco Stella Gel and I'll detangle my hair more. You can see the, the detangling takes less time because I already detangled my hair in the shower. I'm showing you guys my hair. You can see how shiny and a little bit of cold definition I got from that, from the from the leave-in and styling lotion. Then I'll apply Eco Stella Gel to my hair and twist it around. Once I get to the end of my hair, I will I will twist. Once I get to the end of my hair, I will twirl it. Since this is not a twist out tutorial, I have a video coming up all about twist out. So let me just skip this process and let you guys see. Once I'm done twisting my hair, I'll then leave it for one or two days for it to dry completely. And I'll take it down using olive oil. You can see the color definition and shine from those products. So once I'm done taking down my twist, I'll then separate it for more volume and put my hair in my desired style which is which is this style that i've been going for lately and that is the end of my wash day guys that is all i do on my wash day i prepare my hair shampoo it deep condition it detangle it then i moisturize and style my hair that is all i do i keep it very simple i don't do anything special i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel please 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 make sure you are subscribed to my channel i really appreciate that i'll leave you some video suggestions right here on the screen all the videos i mentioned in this video will be in the description box below and also up here that you can either click them up here or check them out in the description box below any information i might have missed in this video will also be in the description box below you can also check me out on my instagram my instagram username is kenny underscore lakwadi i'll put it right here on the screen and also my blog address where i share my natural hair tips makeup tips my mother would join and tips my skincare tips all those all those things i share them on my blog you can also check out my blog i'll put my instagram username and blog address right here on the screen thank you guys and i'll catch you in my next video bye